God is giving us a day of grace, a chance to overcome some incredible obstacles, to grow in who we are, to find joy in our lives, play and fellowship, and to be the Lord's people. So let this time together begin with prayer, and let us come before God's Word. Let us pray. Lord, before we try and take this day and make something of it, give us the humility to see what you've made of it already and bring us into that. Bring us into the life that you've prepared. Lord, bring us into the purpose we are meant to have and to, to show our lives to be for others. Lord, let us be an example of grace. Let us be that spirit of peace where arguments are happening, where people are struggling with their day, with their lives. Lord, we don't do this to come across as a great person or a nice person, but Lord, so that people might see Christ in us, that they might know you. Lord, bring healing into our lives, in the places where we are grieving, where we are struggling, Bring hope into our lives that we can outpour with hope and love into the lives of others. And Lord, help us to heal. Help this world to heal. And bring us to, together in love and grace. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. We turn to part of the vision of Daniel. Reading Daniel chapter 8 at verse 13. Which reads, Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice, and the transgression of desolation, to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. I've lost track, honestly. It's somewhere around 31 weeks, anyway, of cleaning our churches. And it's not just me. I'm glad to have shared this role with other people. And I've been a part of church cleaning crews before. I, I usually enjoy the fellowship of it, but lately with the rules of this pandemic, I, it's been a solitary task. It's also been an important mindful task. So part of today's devotion, and I think you sensed it a bit in this week's devotions, is addressed to those who have been tasked with keeping the church buildings clean. But I speak also to every housekeeper and homekeeper, each person who has given themselves over to keeping things neat and tidy at home, especially when the whole family's been stuck in there. That's been a hard task. To keeping things in good and orderly fashion in your places of business. Going about the daily extra tasks of making sure it's safe for people to come in the next day. How many days is this going to take? When Daniel looked ahead, to what was before God's people, he said it was going to take years to get things clean enough. How long has it been since our world has really been cleansed, faith-wise? How much cleaning is it going to take? How many days of work does the church have ahead of it to really get the house back in order, looking its very best, ready for the worship of God? It was 2,300 days from the time of this vision Daniel was given. I pray that's, that the number for us is going to be shorter before we can come back into, into full worship. And people won't be afraid to enter the sanctuary because of some unseen disease. But let me tell you, 
People are afraid of coming into the sanctuary already for lots of other reasons. They're afraid because of the things that the church has done and it has not done in its past. They are afraid because of the people that are sitting there that always cast judgment on them. They're afraid because they are afraid. And they don't want to be seen as sinners who've been away. And they don't want to be recognized as people who aren't one of these people. So there is a lot that we can do to clean up our house, to clean up the sanctuary of worship, to clean up our fellowship as a congregation, to make it about the worship of God and the love we can show one another. And not about all these other things that have been getting in our way. That's re the real dust and dirt of our life as God's people. And I challenge you, I challenge you today to find that love in yourself and offer it to others as that cleansing flood of Christ's grace to you in the forgiveness that you celebrate as you walk in this life with Him. God bless you.